Okay, how are we doing out there today? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens. All right, so we have these screen paints we call the Exotics. These are Supreme Exotics Ambulate Rejection 15s. Now, uh, these particular screen paints have very interesting colors to them. They produce amazing contrast levels. Um, some are fair, some are more, uh, more higher than others. They produce amazing white levels. And one of the things they're known for is producing incredible color. So we decided to bring it down to four. And the four we're going to have on the website, we're going to be changing. I don't like the sound of money epic uh, or money green. So we're going to change that one over to viridescent. So it's going to be viridescent, which is the green technology for that paint. We have Epic Blue, which is the one I have right there in my uh, lounge. And then we have the Pink Unicorn, which is this screen over here. That is the Pink Unicorn, or we call it the Onyx. Uh, it's called Onyx Unicorn, not pink, but it's called Onyx Unicorn. So these are the ones on the website. But right now, the one we're about to do right now is the Veridescent. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, so... Uh, just these are videos need to be loaded onto the website. We don't have any videos whatsoever of these screen paints. So I'm going to be painting this one in and we're going to be doing a demonstration off of that. Now, if you ever seen me pad the back of the rail on the back of my, um, any of my projection screens, this is, I do this because what happens is if you go to paint over your screen, you can get a bar mark in the middle of your screen and this is going to show up on white scenes. This is very irritating to look at. So in order to get around that, you just take a scarf. I have to use a scarf or you can use a bed sheet or whatever. Double it over, put it inside there. Nice, neat. Well, it has to be neat. Just put it in there. And that way, when you go over your screen, you won't get that bar imprint, which nobody wants. Trust me. All right, so I'm going to put this here for right now. I'm going to grab my uh, screen and bring it outwards. So I can start painting it. Now, as I said, always, as I'm painting my screens, the only rollers that I use are nine inch nap rollers. Do not use any foam rollers or any shorter rollers because you run the risk of basically streaking the daylight side of your screen. A shorter roller, you're just gonna, it's gonna take you so much time and you're gonna put line marks on your screen. And if you're doing a, um, if you're doing a, um, a foam roller, you're definitely going to streak the daylight side of your screen. All right, so there we are. We're already set up. And we're going to begin painting this in. Always stir up the paint properly before using. I'm going to apply this right here. All right. My screens. I like to get my corners first, and then after that, I roll everything else. That's just how I do it. I 
as I said before, all my technology, everything I'm blessed to be able to have comes from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the one that blesses me with the amazing ideas on making this stuff. And I thought it would be neat to have different colored strings. It would be pretty cool. So, I started praying and asking him. And sure enough, he gave me the ability to be able to develop these interesting colored screens. He has so many other colors. He's had 12 of these, but it's got the point you were just too many of them. So I had to make a selection on which ones would be the main ones we would have on the website. But right now we just have the um the uh, four that we chose. There is a chocolate one. What is actually chocolate? It's a chocolate color. I have to bring that one out. I may bring that one out later on. And here we are painting over the bar. That's so you don't worry about getting those bar imprints in the middle of your screen. You don't want that nonsense. And pass over the end. And we're done. That's it. Like I said, very easy to paint. I painted so many things that it's kind of funny. Very, very easy. Over here, it's all done, and I'll bring you guys over here. And this is a veridescent, veridescent, exotic veridescent. screen. the screen out. on the projector. Now we're going to be using my projector that is my ViewSonic 720p 600 by 800 res. It not even plugged in. Sitting there hitting this thing like how come it's not coming on? Not even plugged in.
got the right clicker for this. Nope, wrong one. Here we go. And this is using 100% coding technology. Allows the screen to be able to see color and contrast and all that good stuff. And then you see right here, our screen is still soaking wet. But all that will dry out nice and even. And that right there is the um, veridescent green. Or well, actually just called veridescent because veridescent is green. So the exotics come in four colors right now. They come in the onyx unicorn, which is a pink screen. Uh, they come in the uh, uh, um, exotic veridescent, which is a green screen, which you're seeing right now. We have the epic blue, which is the blue screen, of course. And then we have the... Um, uh, magenta, which is actually uh, the, we call that the um, Black Royal Purple. And as you can see, it picks up color, it picks up contrast, looks absolutely incredible. Now the screen paint can be rolled on or sprayed on, it's up to you. Uh, one quart is going to paint a screen size of 100 inch, I'm sorry, 100 inch to 120 inch. Two quarts will paint up to 150 inch. Unfortunately, we don't have it in gallon sizes yet. Right here, I can see. Yeah, our screen is still soaking wet right in here. So it's drying. And it is doing. Still a little soaking wet. So right up in here, see up in here? Still a little wet. Four K demonstrations. You can see how bright the colors are. Even though the screen is green, I'm not going to have that problem whatsoever. Like I said, that color coding technology. 
Sorry about the noisy fan, but I'm going to be doing more demonstrations on this. And this time we can do it without the fan. Sorry about the noisy fan. right here still drying in so it's still wet right up in that area all this on this side is dry check out the contrast levels My personal favorite, Starfield Screensaver. I like to show up the contrast levels. On the screen can produce contrast levels. I'm going to be back on Later on in the day, when the screen is fully dry, we got it nice and even out, and it's fully dry. Right now, it's still a little wet. We just painted it. But still, you can see exactly how amazing the image is. The contrast levels is able to pull up with no problem whatsoever. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. Let me show you the colors real quick. The screen can see colors here right there. You can see blue and all different colors, such like that, with no problem, such like that. Sorry about that. And you can see different colors for being a green screen. That's the cool thing about it. You can see white levels, but like I said, slowly drying in, all that will be gone, and they'll be nice, even. Now, like I said, the screen is still very wet. And as you can see, you can see it's white levels with no problem. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm going to let this dry out for the rest of the day. Well, not for the rest of the day, it's not going to take all day for it to dry, but. I'm going to let that dry out, and then we'll be back on later on to do some more demonstrations. All right, I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Screens, and this right here is our Supreme Exotic Veridescent uh, Ambient Light Rejection 15. This is part of the Exotic Collections. If you're interested in the Exotic Projection Screens paints, all you have to do is go onto the website. This is a free color option where all these four screen colors options in there, they are free. Um, you just select uh, whether you want a quart or two quarts. And then from there, basically select your color. All right, with that being said, thank you for your time and God bless. And as always, I give my Lord and Savior credit for everything that I do. Thank you, Lord.